Hey guys, this is Isaiah Brighty coming at you with another video. In this video, uh, I'm going to be tackling um, a question that I've gotten a couple of times since this whole coronavirus stuff has uh, sprung up, uh, and that's whether or not medical marijuana businesses can start doing um, delivery services to their patients who uh, might be um, you know, um, stuck in the house or you know, can't leave or anything like that. The short answer is no. Um, you know, um, one of the things uh, that happened while, you know, dispensaries and medical marijuana businesses have been deemed essential businesses, um, sadly, there was not an extension uh, on the rules to allow for um, at home deliveries. So that poses the question of what can you do? And uh, there are a couple of things that uh, medical marijuana businesses can do. Um, so medical, medical marijuana businesses during this time, um, they can do curbside services. So you can basically, you know, um, um, transport medical marijuana from the dispensary location itself to individuals in their cars. Um, if you have a drive through, then this would be a good time to start implementing drive through services so we can cut down on uh, person to person contact, you know, put or, you know, cut down on the amount of people who are in the dispensary themselves. Um, and this is another good question uh, that I've kept getting was um, who all can purchase medical marijuana during this time? Uh, and that's going to be the same as it was before. Um, that's going to be the actual licensed patient or the patient's licensed caregiver. Those are gonna be the people who you can still sell medical marijuana to on a dispensary level. Uh, I know a lot of the dispensaries that I represent, they've been getting calls from uh, individuals who, you know, they have a medical marijuana patient card, but because, you know, they have a um, immunodeficiency, uh, they're uncomfortable with leaving their home, so they can't go and get their medication. So they've been asking, you know, if they can send their son or, you know, if they can send their spouse or significant other to go and get their product for them. And uh, sadly, the answer is no. Um, what these individuals can do is uh, have that person apply for a uh, caregiver's license. So then they would be empowered to go and um, pick up medical marijuana for um, people um, who they'd be caregivers to. I do know this for a fact. Um, the Oklahoma Medical Marijuana Authority is still open. They're still processing applications. Um, they're still taking applications for both business licenses and patient licenses. Uh, they're just simply working from home. If you call them, someone will give you a call back uh, if you don't get directed to a person immediately. Um, so, while this isn't an ideal situation to find ourselves in, there are still some things that can be done. Uh, again, this is Isaiah Brighty uh, signing off.